So what about some other navigation tips and tricks? Uh, one thing that is really cool to use, um, you've seen it in the Android app uh, for settings, is having something called a view pager. Um, a view pager is what allows you to have different tabs and then actually swipe through um, a couple of different screens. It's really simple to implement uh, and the way you do it is you just create a fragment for each of your tabs and then you are going to use a view pager, which I'll show you how to do, to actually um, you know, maneuver between those fragments on a single activity screen. So let me show you how that works. Um, here we have a set of different fragments. Uh, first fragment, second fragment, third fragment. And they correspond to the various fragment classes. But what I have also here is a tabs adapter. If we take a look at that code, let's discern kind of what it does. First of all, it implements a lot of functionality underneath from a fragment pager adapter. In the same way that a list view is kind of adapting different rows uh, from top to bottom, a view pager is actually adapting uh, fragments from left to right. So in order to actually extend that and make it useful, uh, we only need to deal with a couple different methods. Uh, and they're going to look a lot simpler than our counterpart with list views. So what we need to do first of all is we need to actually provide a fragment manager to this class so it can deal with the fragment. So here I'm overwriting the constructor and just passing it along. The next part is pretty simple. It's get item for a position. So when you actually ask for the 0 or 1 or 2 position in that tab, you just need to be able to return which fragment should be displayed. This is also a very important one, the get count. You need to make sure that you can actually get the number of different tabs that you're going to display. Um, and this number should actually correspond to however many different fragments you're prepared to deal with. Uh, lastly, this is not necessary for this particular piece. Uh, you could put it somewhere else. I like to put the actual names somewhere in the actual adapter um, and put setters and getters appropriately. Um, it just makes it easier for me to maneuver uh, within the particular tabs adapter that I'm creating. Okay, so once you have that set up, let's see how you actually use it in an activity. All right, so the first thing you're going to have to have is a view pager, a tabs adapter, and the action bar. Those things are easily gotten by actually just referring to them. So here we are getting an actual view pager. Um, and you can find that by going over here to our activity navigation and seeing that we are actually referring to that particular piece as a view pager and the ID being pager. Now, as you go through this, if you're trying to code it up yourself, you're going to start to see this rear its ugly head. So let me explain that before we go too much further. Android has to deal with a lot of fragmentation because they had a lot of different ideas in the very beginning and have improved upon them. So what ends up happening is when you're at a particular API level like we are today with you know, KitKat, that doesn't mean that older Honeycomb devices might also have the exact same installation. In fact, those Honeycomb devices have a very different uh, amount of libraries that they have access to. So what the Android team did was they provide uh, support libraries that give you the functionality of the later versions of Android, but are actually included as like a separate chunk of code when your application is installed. This can be a little tricky when dealing with uh, things like fragments and ViewPager, because you're actually going to have to use ViewPager from a support library. Um, you also might want to use it from uh, a later support library, which you can kind of see in the imports that I'm, I'm kind of mixing and matching here. Here we have some v4 uh, support libraries. There's also ones for v13. Um, but if you're ever trying to actually match those data types, just use particular Java thinking of, does this method require the same data type? Right? Because android.app.fragment is a very different class than android.support.fragment. So if you're trying to match a particular uh, type of data, just use your normal kind of Java sense of saying, does this data type actually reflect the same data type? Um, one more kind of hint about that is you'll often see this if you're trying to use lower levels of APIs. Um, I'm not going to use it here, but it, it is the same thing. Um, so follow along with this code, but if you ever get stuck, just know that you might need to pay attention to the support libraries. That being said, let's go forward and take a look at how this works. So you have a view pager. Uh, we're getting the action bar by just saying get action bar. And then we're instantiating our tabs adapter that we just created. And just like a list view, you're just going to use set adapter on that view pager. I'm setting some other pieces on the action bar, uh, setting the navigation mode to tabs. 
And then after that, you actually just want to add the particular tabs to the action bar. So the way this works is, again, it's a it's kind of a subclass, or not subclass, but um, a class uh, from the action bar package. You're going to want to use action bar tab, and you're going to want to create a new tab, set the text for actually what you want to display, and then you're also going to need to have a tab listener, which means you're going to have to implement action bar tab listener, because it needs to be able to call back to you and tell you that when someone has actually selected a tab for you to be able to respond to what to do when someone selects a tab. In this case, we're actually going to take our view pager and say, hey, set the current item to what was just selected. So after we set that particular tab up, we actually want to add it to our uh, action bar so it knows about it. And then we have this other thing you're going to see here, which is a on-page change listener. Um, very similar, again, when a page is selected, we actually want to set the navigation item to that particular one for the action bar. Again, all of this stuff ends up going through the action bar for the menu items. The view pager is what's going to actually deal with the adapter of what to display. And when all this code runs together, you'll actually end up seeing a beautiful interface just like in the settings menu or many of the other common Android uh, you know, internal ways of doing things. And now you can do it in a way that not only allows you to click on tabs and move through your fragments, but also to swipe left and right. It's a much easier navigation for a user, and it's a lot more fun.